It's your boy Press of Pain, man. We're right here on Pop Radio Worldwide, iHeartRadio, bringing you another week of empowerment, education, and culture, man. Uh, I got special guests for you. I got models of the week. I want y'all to make some noise, man, for my boy Dope from the Go in the building, yeah, man. Yeah, we here, we live. Yeah, sir. Yeah, sir. It's been a long time coming, y'all. I got a, a couple stories, man, <laughs> to share tonight. Yeah, uh, yeah, let's do it. We gonna get it in. Uh, do me a favor. Uh, well, no, real quick, let me send uh, my, my sponsors a quick shout out. Number one, they pay the bills and, yes, and they look out. It wouldn't be no pop radio worldwide. Uh, on iHeart and Spotify if uh, I ain't send shout outs to the, the Real House Doctors of Chicago, uh, Chicago Lead Alliance, uh, Street Level Youth Organization, the kids out there, make sure you support them. And uh, Horace Music, man, worldwide out the UK that distributes all Prince of Pain's music. Yeah. Let's get it. Let's get uh, it. My boy Doe's in the building. Man, First of all, man, let the people of Pop Radio know who you is, though. Man, Doe from the Go, uh, you know, Southside born. You know what I'm saying? Just in the building, man. You know, everybody know my work, man. Everything from Stack to Star all the way to Def Jam. You know what I do. I'm in the streets all day. Exactly, exactly. Uh, you know, I met Doe, man, uh, a few years ago. And I don't, you know, I know Doe Do does so much. My bad, that was, that was an accident there. I know Doe Do does so much. That uh, he don't, you know, it's like me. I done did so much work. I don't even remember some stuff. Sometimes just working. We just, we just, you know, it's, it's like you know, you got a lot of houses to build, and you just build them, and then you just one day you just look at the whole like community, and you be like, wow, we put that in. Though man was in charge, man, maybe of some other stuff at the time, but I know at the time that I met Doe, he was in charge of uh, Def Jam Street Team, and. Uh, I think I just hit him, man, one day, and I was like, "Do you got some work for me, man? I'm grinding. He's like, of course I do, Pop. And I remember moving with Doe and Def Jam for about nine months, man. He, uh, Doe, I really want to just say thank you, man, number one, because you might not know it, but this picture right here, bro, with Jeezy, wouldn't happen if it wasn't for the street team of Def Jam and Doe. That picture right there in the studio of Power 92 with Little Dirk. Dope. Wouldn't have happened if it wasn't because of Dope from the Go. And, you know, I took that uh, and, and, you know, built other relations that, you know, at the same time, I got to pay homage. That I would have missed out if you wouldn't have made some of the municipal, you know, connections, bro. So I thank you, bro, bro. You know, I, you made, you you know, you did a lot for Pop, bro. Believe it or not, you know, you played a big uh, part. In my career, bro, at the beginning of my career. Big so salute. I thank you for yeah, that, bro, bro. Appreciate it, man. Big salute, man. I do want to ask you some, uh, like, real good questions. Uh, where's my notebook? I wrote some stuff down earlier, man, that, you know, like I said, my show's all about awareness, yeah, empowerment, sure. education, and culture. Absolutely. So there's, you know, questions that I'm sure, I, I know you get a lot of uh, interviews. I, I want to ask the questions that are going to be useful, man, yeah. to some of these upcoming artists. That's right. So, uh, you've done not only street team work, you've probably signed some of the biggest deals, some of the biggest concerts, you've done A&R work, right. you know, uh, I, I, and, and, and you know, all of us know that, you know, so the ones listening, the ones paying attention, yeah. uh, what's some of the most comments shouldn't do at, uh, for an artist to approach an A&R or a record label, uh, like relying just on social media? What's one of the number ones that don't? You know what I'm saying? Uh, <clears throat> we're, we're trying to get on, though. You know, well, the number one don'ts is you know, uh, you know, uh, aggression is cool. You know what I'm saying? And being excited is cool, but you know, you have to do things tastefully, and you know, you gotta just you know watch your approach. You know what I mean? Because we all got man shit going on and woman shit going on. Yeah, so you know absolutely. the way you the way you approach people, you just have to approach them with the respect, and it's a time and place for everything. You know. Uh, I get thousands of songs every day sent to me, you know what I mean? So I can't listen to everybody's music. Absolutely. Uh, what I suggest is, you know, just taking a meeting. You know, taking the tagging a, though from the go ain't gonna work, right? It's not gonna work. I'd rather, right. rather you set a meeting up, uh, come sit down and, uh, you know, let's build a off A professional of consult. Yeah, because that way, you know what I'm saying, you will have my attention that moment. 
you know, you know they're serious. Yeah, and then it'll it'll just make sense, you know what I mean, and uh, it it'll be put together in a in a tasteful way, you know what I mean. So you know that's, that's the thing. Just don't be too aggressive. Be humble at the same time. Don't feel like anybody owe you anything. I I, I ain't want to say a cuss word. Him cuss? No, yeah, we're uncensored now. Bro. Okay, cool. So we're uncensored. Nobody owes you shit. So right. don't uh give it to him raw, bro. Don't don't approach people, you know, with with those type of uh, expectations. Yeah, right. And everything will be all right for you. No, I'm glad you put it like that, you know, because, I, you know, I did 20 years, bro, and um, everybody knows pop pays way, move around, pay. I don't be waiting for nobody to put me on and make something happen for me, and, uh, you know, it, it, you got you got the, you, you know, and you got the respect, man, other people working, people been working longer than you, and really professionally get paid off of this, so, sure. again, don't nobody owe you nothing, no, don't man. nobody owe you nothing, you got to get it the same way the person that you're approaching got, you got to sit for yourself and just think, what if it took 20 30 years for them to mm -hmm. even get in the position they got in. Sacrifice. So if, if, if you ain't thinking about them before you're thinking about yourself, then you're not good to work with anyway. Simple. I mean, I look at it as simple sacrifice, you know. I bro, think hold I'm, on. I ain't got you up, bro. bro. You, you, how about now? You on good? Yeah, you good now. Simple. No, nah, I was just going to say, like, a lot of times, you know, this shit takes sacrifice, man. Yeah, a lot of people sorry. want to... Keep uh, everything coming they have to the building, Pop Radio oh, Worldwide. Right, right. I already we got Corey. Get, 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 get that man. Get that man. It's intro. What the crowd at, man? I want some drums. Thank you, Corey. He's on the speaker. Corey, he's on the speaker. Give him everything. Corey, he's on the speaker. You heard that, brother? Thank you, thank you. Now, as I was say, like you know, with this industry and just period in life, when it comes to success, it takes a lot of sacrifice, you know, and a lot of people are not prepared to give up what they already have. For what they truly want, what Facts. they're truly destined. Say to. that again, bro. A lot of people, people are. Not, a lot of people are not prepared to let go of everything, damn everything they have right now, to get to exactly where they're trying to go or get to what they destined to. We gonna shoot. To... We gonna shoot them around here, bro. Please, you gonna man, get it, straight, it, straight big forty calves coming up. Yeah, like honestly, like I just kind of feel like people. I, I look at a lot of artists now, and just people in general. They are not prepared. They're so worried about what somebody else is thinking of them mm -hmm. that they do not know how to like. Yeah. Go broke for this shit Or just say fuck it for a couple of years You know what I mean It takes a long Like when you jump off this porch for success When you trying to go and move into that big old house When you jump off that porch Ain't no looking back yes, You sir. either go move into a new spot Or your ass will be homeless Yes sir You have to keep going There is like so I'm gonna put a year into it If a year It ain't go You just don't know Years go past before people like get on And I don't think I think with Instagram and social media There's so much instant gratification going on you can be whoever the hell you want to be, but yeah, you can't you post. Can't fool everybody, you can't fool everybody because when the hard work come in, when that body of work come in, it's bro. like, you know what you doing. There's certain people in every city, man, that know who's working and ain't working. That, that's that's only gonna fly so when much. You, when you working, it's needless to say, people do, see. You do, ain't I got, talk about it. I do got a, a, another question yeah, for yeah, you. For bro. Sure. I got a couple of them for you. Yeah. What's what what makes an artist stand out to you, bro, bro? Uh, what makes an artist stand out to me is first and foremost. Uh, Aura, you know what I mean, and uh, just how humble they are. You know, you you know, an artist stands out when they can walk in a room and I have to look, or I have right. to like just know it's something about that person. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I mean that comes from you know just being natural though. You know, sometimes people try to come in a room and get to just run in their mouth and they want you to know what they didn't done and. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of that's not even needed, you know, if you can just come in the room and just touch people just based on your presence. Yes. You know what I mean? So that's what stands out to me. I'm with that. Um, I'm going to ask you one more, and I'm going to let, uh, probably Corey has a question for you. Um, what time in an artist's career do you think it's proper for him now to maybe contact the label, contact an A&R? At what level, what should he have already accomplished before even getting there? Uh, just, just overall establishment. You know what I'm saying? Packaged. Meaning, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't like to say package because it's so cliche of a word and it's so like ancient. But established is better because it's like you basically have the standard shit together of uh, the business of an artist. From the branding state to the uh, the dashboard and the administration of your own shit. So even with that, when you can approach someone and you have it all together, those are the things that you know you should come nice. with. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Corey? I feel like, um, I mean, I'm just piggyback off of that, though. Like, I think that when you talk about the music business, 
I think uh, many artists are so focused on the music side of it. And that's why I said what I said. They you know this. Yeah. I, I said nothing about the music because it, it I know that. I know people with like the the the, the dope most shit most dope <laughs> shit ever. They don't have nothing yeah. from the administration side handle. And you know what? I can't even I can't even fault them. You know, I, I fault the people around them versus the person because sometimes the person might be just so into their passion to where you know they're not thinking about sitting down and doing this and that and the other uh, paperwork wise. But you know, when you have all these people around you who just want to ride the wave or they they want the free tickets or they, they want the free merch piece or, or to ride with you to Iowa to do the show, they have to be a part of the team and make sure certain things happen too. You know what I'm saying? So I blame them people, the uh, the, the the yes man, quote unquote. You know, you're someone to learn from, go. You don't just concert. You know, I I try to do it all too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, you do way more than music, bro. Let's touch on uh, what they've been doing for the last year and a half since. Uh, Cause I, I kind of see me fall back for a minute. Yeah, yeah, for sure. What's they been up to? Uh, clothing line, bag language clothing. Uh, we we've been uh, really like testing the market with pop up shops, fashion shows, the high end brand. So I'm not doing anything on on a cheap merch level, but uh, I'm gonna be launching the actual bags uh, in the spring. But the bag language clothing line apparel has been out for the last four years. We've been, nice. we've been doing an amazing job. Appreciate it. Yeah. That, we've been doing an amazing job uh, just yeah. being independent and just, just having like, uh, you know, a, a patience, uh, yes, yes, yes. standing time with patience and just understanding that brand is going to emerge so quick. So, is that some uh, of your merchandise? Yeah, yeah. I brought you a gift, man. I brought you, I brought you, I brought you, I brought you uh, one of the season three tees. You well, know what I'm saying? That's dope right there. So, uh, yeah, that's on deck for you. Everybody you know, looking in on YouTube, man. You see, bring it over here by the camera, right? Yeah, the, uh, the, the website is uh, shopbaglanguage.com. Um, season three is out right now. Season four will be out soon. Beautiful. Uh, season four is like just more, you know me. Oh, God bless you, man. You've done a lot for the community, the kids. For sure. And I'm always bumping into somebody as, hey, bro, you know dope? Yeah. I'd be like, yeah. Oh, yeah. man, he's such an awesome person, and that's great. When yeah. you run into people, man, I ain't got nothing but good, good stuff to say. Well, you know, even you. even the ones that got something bad, uh, you know, uh, what, what you have to remember, they once either did business with me or they saw something in me good, and it just didn't work out. And we have to, we have to be... Uh, understanding and receptive to business going not the way it should or you know just don't get the emotions involved and just stay positive and keep and you know moving. what that was one of my mistakes bro i came after 20 years i thought just talent could get you to the top yeah you know? nah, not, <laughs> at all. not at all and uh, i was a very passionate poet yeah. who was very uneducated and mm -hmm. very green to the whole industry mm -hmm. and i took my you know it took me uh took my bumps and whatnot and experience to you know probably <laughs> Get a lot more educated in the game, as they say. Yeah, but talent comes with uh, patience, and uh, you can be talented at any, anything, even if it's not music related. Obviously, there's other things you can do. Like right now, we're doing media shit, and that's like uh, another passion of yours, I'm yes. sure. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you look at Noriega, and you look at you know uh, what he's doing with Drink Champs. Yeah, that's a good, yeah, 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 it's a good platform. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And I, I'll say that because uh, I'm just I'm an '80s baby, so. Yes. Being 16 and, and watching Nori emerge as a rapper, then now being in, in my 30s and seeing what he is now on the media side, that's like what a What do you test. think about Dream Chats? Um, it's a great show. Um, I, the, for the concept of it and the excitement and, and the production of it, uh, it, 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 it just set the tone for how you know certain podcasts are supposed to be produced you know, when it comes to levels of how you produce your, your podcast. I like it for the production sake of it. Not going to say I like every guest. But I think for the production sake of it, it's a, it's a very dope uh, platform. You know, as well as all these other platforms that are emerging from a, a podcast standpoint. You know what I'm saying? Some podcasts you don't like. Yeah, it's a few of them. I mean, I don't know the names of them, but I've stumbled across them, and I'm just like, no, nah, that's not going to work, because I think sometimes... It's not good for the culture? Either, either, either for the culture or either for just... people do. Sometimes people do stuff just to do it. You know, it's like throwing rims on a car that don't even really need the rims. You know what I'm saying? Yes. yes. So, you know, I'm use that. I'm use that. <laughs> it's the best way to put it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, though, uh, some of the clo uh, uh, name, shout out them companies you got going on right now. You're messing with water. You're yeah, yeah. So uh, we we got the we got the water brand jumping off too. You know, Hydro Water. You know what I'm saying? HydroWaterCollection.com. Uh, pH seven. We're gonna get it up to nine. Very good water. We got a uh, different. Uh, 
bottles that we're doing right now. We got the hologram bottle. We got like the uh, the pink bottle for breast cancer. Uh, we also like sponsor- congratulations. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. yeah. Congratulations. We, we we also gonna be sponsoring like you know MMA fighters and you know doing stuff for the kids, etc. So that's something I'm getting into as well with the water. You know, entrepreneurship has always been. I one love of my the passions. evolution, bro, of you, man. It's, yeah, it's great to see you. Just uh, you're always so involved with everybody, you know. Always giving of you, but it's good to see you also receive yeah, yeah. and be that boss. So well, I feel like you got to get the blessings out in order for them to come back. That's why every single day I just try to make a change in someone's life. Like every single day I give help to somebody or I do something to contribute to someone else's success. You know, because you know that you, you, you measure your success based on how successful someone else is, yeah, you real. made them. That's you know what I mean? So if you haven't, if you, if you can't take a person and elevate them to the top, then you're not successful. You know what I'm saying? Period. I want to say something real quick, though. A couple things. Um, you mentioned, uh, like, everybody may feel a certain way of certain things and go their way, right? And I also say, like, most times when people have an issue with you, is most times you ain't even did shit to them. Most, most times you ain't did shit for them. And they look at it like you owe them something, right? Simple facts. It's, it's, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. But I did want to publicly thank you. Cause I think I met you about a year ago. Yeah. And you invited me to uh, Treasure. Shout out, shout out to Treasure, man. Shout out Treasure. Yeah, you invited me to one of her listening se- sessions one day, and I was like, damn, I ain't even know if you care how you know what I think of certain things. Yeah, but yeah, it was yeah. cool because mm-hmm. she ended up, her and I ended up linking for my album, man. And that's dope. See, I like that. The like, fact that you know a situation turned yeah. another situation, so another situation into a situation. I couldn't wait to get to here to thank you. It was like three situations. I told Corey this one. I said, I don't think. Don't really know when some of the positions he put me in to do what I do, you know, and mm-hmm. and he really, I, t- I told that brother as well. I said, I, I look for, I said, I, I said, I seen you link with a uh, uh, dope before. He said, oh, dope, my guy. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I said, man, I'm kind of excited to have him yeah, tonight. Thank you, man. man. You know, genuine, genuine relationships, though. I just like to work like that because uh, if I got a respect for you, you know. We we gonna do something down the line. It might not be right away. I've hung out with people and I just like their energy. And yeah. then we didn't end up doing business or doing something together so for like a year time. or two. You know what I mean? Like time, but it's just something about the energy that I can have around me. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So I, I I respect the energy. I'm gonna uh send a quick shout out to my sponsors again. We are gonna take a quick music break, and we are gonna find out how dope from the go got into all this. Too. That's right. Yeah. That, that's the interesting shit yeah. right there. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, it's your boy Corey Ether checking in. Make sure y'all tune in to Pop Radio Worldwide. Peace, easy. Yo, yo, you know what it is, man. Check it out, Chicago, man. Don't forget to go in the building. Shout out Pop Radio, man. iHeart Radio, man. We do it. We do it big. I'm on Pop Radio Worldwide. iHeart Radio. We are now on Spotify Premium. Artists, three minutes and under songs. A link to your music. They talk on the Pop Radio Worldwide at gmail.com. Baddies of the week. My name is Tris. I came out here today to Pop Radio. I had an amazing experience talking about my experience over the years as a model. You can follow me on my Facebook at Tris Ray and also my Instagram at underscore Bella underscore MA1 underscore. Hey, we right back on Pop Radio. Worldwide, I Heart Radio. Hey, we right Radio. Worldwide, I Heart Radio. Not too late. Yeah, Zoe's where you at? Side <laughs> yeah, for those just tuning in, we got though from the go in the building. Yeah, and uh, we were just talking about all the good stuff about how we met and how he yeah. got me some of my dopest opportunities all and all that. You gotta get, you gotta, we gotta blow them up and frame them joints though. I want them a little larger. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna put through shits. I want oh, those, them to, they, yeah, they talk, yeah, they look yeah, tough, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. That, I'm follow your marketing right, guy. Let's right. blow them up a little bit. Right, you, so you know, right. and, so and, right. and, and, you know, because you got to remind people, hey, yeah. you know, I, I'm doing shit with my life, baby. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no doubt. No, no, yeah. I am going to get blown up. Fact, fact. You know, we, I didn't get a picture in there. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just eight by eight, what they eight by, what they call them, eight by eight. Eight by ten. You know how they, you know, just a little. Eight by ten, right? Yeah, rectangle. Who knows I'm next they're going to be up there, right? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We got that, For sure. Let's tell the people, though, how you get involved in the whole music industry at all. Um, um, 2002, I, uh, I had a job at uh, Ultra Foods. It was Cub Foods, but they changed it, you know what I mean? And I was working in the produce department. And I remember I was getting wet. You know, I tell the story all the time. I was getting wet, you know, getting tired, arguing with people over greens, turning up. They coming in the back. 
I'm in the back. Customers walking back there, bro. This is the shit I was going through was motivation for me. You know what I mean? Like I can't, I can't be doing this. Bro. I'm not. Uh, so I, so I, uh, I never looked back from a nine to five. Uh, I took the, I took the risk of just like not having the job, sacrificing, really trying to get into the music industry. Uh, I went out to fuck with Suge Knight and Death Row. You know what I'm saying? I had an internship. I was out there like learning the ropes and learning the business. And then that's some of the stuff that people don't get. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, sometimes you got to just put in the work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so Suge taught me some shit, and he, and he put some of the bag up to for me to go to my my uh, full sale university. You know what I mean? Where I did yeah, engineering yeah. and shit. So uh, free Suge Knight. Like, you know what I'm saying? He was one of the people that you know really rocked with me. Uh, then from there, I came back to the city and just started getting my buzz, doing beats, engineering nigga sessions. Man, and I didn't like, know you were an engineer, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, oh my that, that's how I... See, this is wow, my thing, man. This was gonna fuck people up. Like, you know why I just... If you catch me engineering right now, you're gonna be like, man, y'all must have gave his ass a bag because yeah, that's how wow. I first got in this shit. So you, it's not easy to just get me to sit and engineer your session. Right, right. But if, you, if I'm engineering your session, like something See? happened. Right. Like something went no, down. I get it. You know I what I'm saying? I get it. So, so, because if I lay my hands on your shit, it's gonna be special. You know what I'm saying? Versus, you know, me just doing it and like how I did it back in the day. I would sit up all night, engineer for free. I do free sessions and just, just do shit just because I was, I'm sorry, I was hungry. I wanted, I wanted to get in the business. Right. You know what I'm saying? But nowadays, uh, it's just business for me, really. I love the marketing. I love the music side of the steel. You know, I'm working on the Mineral Water album. That'll be out soon. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nice. four nice. years in the making. So, real nice. soulful album, man. I'm executive producing it. It's basically like a, a DJ Khaled-style album where I take artists and I put them on the album. And uh, that'll be out 2020. Well, I'm sure, you know, they, they, they should appreciate that just to be, you know, part of the project. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, yeah, I mean? yeah. It's soulful. It's some real hip-hop shit. It's, uh, you know, it reminds you of the 90s, the 90s vibe. But we, we mixed a little today into it, too. So, it's going to be a, a real dope project, Mineral Water. You know, they know you everywhere, too, bro. I was over there in the Bronx not too long ago with Cuban. Uh, you know, we back. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, BX. Yeah, we right. I, got, I, I fuck with the nothing, BX, nothing man. Nothing but good stuff. I got a lot of niggas out in BX, man. You know what I'm saying? Shouts to all my boys in the BX, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, how does it feel now, though, to, like, from being in that, you know, supermarket and the, the market. Yeah. To, like, being, like, uh, oh, my God, like. I know it's a headache sometimes, like, you get hit, like, oh my God, I can yeah. just imagine, you know? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the you, position you gotta be, that. you, gotta, you <laughs> gotta have a fast mind, and your mind gotta be fast paced, cause, you know, you, see, I'm constantly in my phone, I'm constantly, like, I'm, I'm switching around, that's business, I'm between 38 emails and, like, uh, 11 social media platforms, everything from LinkedIn all the way to WordPress, so, like, my, my, my span, I gotta be, like, just on it. You know what I'm saying? Checking DMs, inquiries for uh, business. Like, it's a lot of, you know, then handling the clients, then doing this, then doing that, then just, then, then, then doing shit for myself. You know what I mean? Those like, were the people you know, I learned a lot from, yeah. believe it or not. Sometimes you gotta meditate and you gotta shut your phone off too, so I gotta take time to do that. You know what I mean? So. God bless you, bro. God bless you. Everything bless you. you do. You got it. Any mentors, bro, when you came up? Yeah, for sure. Anybody uh, you want to send a shout out yeah, to? Yeah, shout out to Decker Durs. This is my big brother, man. Um, you know, he, he mentored me in the game as far as, you know, the beats and the music. And he was, he was, he's still behind me to this day. So shout out him. Shout out Suge Knight. Shout out uh, Big Folks. Shout out Shampoo. My boy Shampoo out on, out on the East Coast of New York. He put me on. He want to put me in the game when it comes to the major uh, platforms with uh, having accounts with record labels and shit. So, you know, I'm forever grateful and, uh, you know, Loyal to him as well. So shout out Shampoo, YNBS, you know what I'm saying? Def Jam, all that. I'm curious, bro. Top five. Who's your top five of all time? Now we see that's always a debate because are we talking sales? Are we talking MC? Are MC. We, your if, five, if we, if we talking MCs, and then we, we talking, go, then we can go to sales. sales. Yeah, if we talking lyricists, like just like the way they say it, and just like you just can't deny it. And this is in no order. Uh, Jada for sure, Jada Kiss, and that's my brother too. Shout out Jada Kiss, you know. Uh, I'm gonna introduce me. To I'm, yeah, I'm gonna tell y'all a story about me and Jada because you know me, me and Jada, we, we worked our first time we worked. Jada loved me, man. Like he put his arms around me after after it was all over, man. Told me I did a great job, so that touched me, man. You know what I'm saying? So shout out Jada Kiss. 
Um, but yeah, Jada being my top you five. Did, you actually, I was there for that project. Yeah. You actually did an amazing yeah, job. Yeah, yeah. Top five deal away. Yeah, man, that was a good project, I man. Got, I got a chance to work with Def Jam with yeah. them for the top five. Yeah, that was, that was a project that uh, I really, I was aiming to, to really like help with that one. But uh, Jada's on my top five. Two time project too. That yeah. was launched. And Dirk you. Yeah, man, you know. Uh, Jeremiah Project, I mean, those are a, a lot of top dogs, man. Of good, yeah, top five though, Jada, and then I'd put Hov in there, Biggie for sure, and then the last two are going to be Snoop Dogg and Corrupt, and the reason why is because, like, when we speak in 90s, it wasn't a lot of 90s rappers who came with their own flow, you know what I'm saying? So I got to add J Jada, I got to add Snoop in there and Corrupt, because Corrupt was able to be a West Coast lyricist that was born in the East Coast, you know what I'm saying? And Snoop, he just gave us a flow of his own, you know what I'm saying? But Hov, you gotta put Hov in there because it's, it's just everything from sales down to lyricism, you know what I, I mean? Get it, I get it. So, you know, it's just like he really came in and cleaned this shit up, like for real, he cleaned the fucking game up. What was that like, bro? Sure. What was that like? Uh, he took care of niggas, man. He basically was uh, only overprotective when it was harm done, done to his people. Uh, he was nothing like the media. Bro. Yeah, the media portrayed him. Yeah, bro. I mean, you know, there's I know I know gangsters who speak properly and like you know bring the groceries in, but they did never they never glorified that part of him. So you know, for that matter, you know, he got that type of like, and he liked it. You know what I mean? Uh, he liked a lot of that shit, but then a lot of it, you know, he didn't like. Paying so for it. yeah, paying, paying for it. it. You know what I mean? So. So yeah, I, I was wondering, what, 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 you know, for sure, being around the shit, what was that like? Uh, any story you want to share with us? Crazy girl story? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, one, one story. Uh, now, I got to meet Left Eye before she passed. Oh, you know what wow. I'm saying? Rest in peace, Lisa. Rest in peace, yes. So, uh, one story is uh, she kept, like, uh, telling, telling us she was five minutes away for, like, three hours. It was funny. And, and she had patience with that. He was still patient through the whole thing. Yeah, she was like, I'm five minutes away. Uh, I'm turning right now. Like she was really like, yeah, because you know we had those uh, two way, uh, those two way time port pages where it flips up. You know what I'm saying? So I would see the messages and I'd just be laughing and stuff. So yeah, that was a real fun time before she passed. I do want to let Cor Corey act. Oh no, Corey ain't even here. That's Red over. Uh, so I was like, damn, I'm being a mic hog right now. But uh, shout out to Red. I didn't even see Red Janelle over in the corner. Uh, the Real House Doctor, Chicago the Alliance. Yes, sir. Yes, stuff. yes. But hasn't this uh, stuff taken you like overseas too? Yeah, I've been overseas twice. Um, London is definitely a, a place that I want to go to more and more. But the, the time that I went to London, um, I spent 11 days there and I love it. You know what I'm saying? Great. London? Yeah, yeah. London's great. You know what I'm saying? For me, I would live over there. Wow. You know, uh, well, I would have a home there if I could. You know what I'm saying? I like the vibes over in London. You know what I'm saying? And, and then Canada's like another favorite spot. I mean, like Canada, actually, Canada? I used to go there a lot. Like, when I say a lot, a lot, a lot. You know what I'm saying? But uh, other than that, yeah, those two. Dope, dope, dope. You ever work with the kid from over there from uh, Canada, the Tory Lanez kid? Nah, nah, nah. Okay. Never met him, never worked. I fuck with him. I like his music, you know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm sure we cross paths. Uh, I got a client. Nah, it would surprise me if you did. Yeah, no, I got a client who just did a song with him. So, I mean, matter of fact, they're shooting a the video soon, so I think I might meet him. So, what's this young talent you got up under you right now? Uh, I, I got a lot of talent, man. I'm the type of person, I'll see, I'll see a star before the star even blossoms. So um, I just want to be a part of an uh, artist's journey, and I think that's my um, that's like one of my niches, you know, working with you know artists before they even get big, and then they end up becoming big. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I've worked with artists who were here, and then now they're there. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's that's my thing. I got a lot of young talent though that's coming. Um, Sky Seasons coming. I got this dude named Prince Hot Boy. Uh, this R and B artist named Jazz. I'm working on another artist. She's more so like EDM style. Her name's Morgan Mimosa. Uh, so yeah, a lot of the talent gonna emerge, man. Like we we bringing it. Like twenty twenty is gonna have a lot of good things. What's kept you in the city of Chicago, man? Why you ain't left yet? Everybody we leave. That's, that's what I'm well, my story is this. I've I've left several times, and what I realized about leaving is all you're doing is going to other markets to uh, contribute to what they have as a unit. You know what I mean? So if you go to L.A you're gonna become an LA person. If you go to the A, you're gonna become an Atlanta person and that's gonna be your thing, you know what I'm saying? But the thing, the, the reason why Chicago is the way it is is because you got a lot of people who run and you got a lot of people who stay. The people who stay, they are uh, not, I, wanna, I wanna say, you know, they call us gatekeepers, but we're not gatekeepers, we're just 
we just people who are smart enough to understand why why Atlanta is why Atlanta is or why LA is why it is as far as just staying on the map. You know what I'm saying? So it's our job to contribute and and to make sure that this city like really has some dope shit coming out of it and we we be the the people that's in charge of it and we're responsible for it. Shout out my boy DJ Mill Ticket. You know what I'm saying? DJ Mill Ticket. Yeah, DJ he, that's my brother, man. We uh we got a new project dropping Friday. Who's next? And then we're gonna do value two in the first Shout quarter. Out DJ Mill. Yeah, it's my brother. We got a lot of projects dropping. You know what I'm saying? I'm somebody that's in his, in his corner, he's that mind, so we work real well together. You know what I'm saying? He's dope. Yeah, for he's sure. Dope. Very supportful. He supported my Chico stick I just dropped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One yeah. Time. He's, I, a, he's a real one. I, I bumped into him in Atlanta one time. He recorded me doing some spoken word. He put it on his face. Very, very humble. Uh, lovable. Very lovable, man. Be sure to tell me to make sure... Shit, get him to host one of your mixtapes. Yeah, you who, who's next is Friday. Uh, make sure y'all get that on all streaming platforms, man. It's Project who's Guys. Next? Yeah, who's next? Uh, got a lot of dope new talent on some of the talent I just named actually, and uh, got three exclusive uh, records from G Herbo on there. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, now, if anybody uh, checking this out and you know check you out, and be like, damn, I gotta get with him. Are yeah, you thinking? Sir. Consultants, or is there uh, some form that they can get a hold of you? Email you that? Yeah, yeah, everything is dope from the go. You know, just to make it real easy. D yeah, D O U G H. I'm sorry, bro. Did I do that? Yeah, go ahead. You find out. Yeah, D O U G H from D A G O. And you can find me on everything, every social media under that dope from the go. And then that dope from the go at Gmail, too. For the if, Gmail. if you're not following them on IG, man, I suggest you do, man. Dope from the go. Go check them out. Yeah, they, they, I get a lot of uh, so love on stories. Something. So <laughs> follow those stories because I teach a lot of I teach a lot of shit when it comes to branding. And, you know, people say I motivate them a lot. So just follow my stories the most. I haven't had a lot of, uh, 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 you know, I, I haven't talked to those since we bumped into it with me, Cuban, and... We really didn't talk about music, man. Yeah, we, oh, we was partying, was, man. We yes. having a great time. But it was lit that night too, man. Yes. I ain't gonna lie, man. It was a lot. It was a lot of beautiful women in the place yes, too. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, it was some beautiful yeah, women in there. Oh yeah. my goodness. Oh well, man. Shout out to Masada that night. Man, man. Masada. Oh my yeah. god, y'all had some women in there that night, boy. I so, swear. But soon, man, I'm gonna get up with Dolphin to go and see if uh, maybe we can't uh, around. Uh, Sometime before the holidays, have maybe like an artist development I'm with it. seminar. I'm or with it. Like I'm that. with that, you man. Know, Count me in. Anything we can do to, to give information. Uh, what I do, I, love, I like young talent and people who want to learn. And uh, I just like good energy. So if you got good energy, man, bring it. And let's link. Dope, dope, dope. Everybody, man, do me a favor right now. And uh, go follow him. Make some noise for them coming up with this. Send some shout outs real quick, bro, bro. And shout out everybody that's doing their thing. Shout out God. Shout out my mom. And you know, we rock it, man. It's just a, it's a beautiful thing to just still be here, still breathing, and still being able to uh, move the culture forward. Um, uh, I, I appreciate you, bro, for, you know, uh, on such a short, a short notice this week. Yeah, I just it's opened, all good. I'm I just pulled up. And, uh, yeah. Man, my man said, man, no problem, Pop. Let's get yeah, it. Let's God get bless it. you, bro. I know you still going to go a long way, take a lot of people a long way. And, uh, you know, I'm honored for you to come here yes, today, sir. man. So, again, I'm going to make another round of applause for you to come here and rock with your yes, boy, Pop. Um, everybody, December 1st, make sure you pop out Good Karma Project. Hypno Carlito, man. Forge All Ages. Yes. Uh, 6 to 10. Tickets on event, right? Let's get it. Hosted by Radio Mayha uh, from Power 92 and Real T. And first walking down the pop front way, we got La Senorita Trish. Hey! Hey! That's one of our bad boys. We ain't got no time for money. Plus, we got walking up here. If you want some, I can show you how to get it. I thought a case should live without it. You get it, me and you go. Let me go. Let me see if I can throw out for y'all. I'm going to make sure I get pictures of y'all. I can't live with the ladies of the week, man. We do the little baddies around here. I like, I like the ladies of the week, man. You know, I like, go, I like, go. I like the physique. I like I like the the, the attitude, you know. They seem, they seem they seem humble, you know. They seem they seem you know they seem ready, determined, you know. what I'm saying it's level, so you know you gotta you gotta do your thing and you gotta. That keep one was it. over there late though. She wasn't on time. She on the spot, man. <laughs> it's how I go. I understand Chicago traffic and stuff like that. It's okay. I still love you. Um, I'm gonna put you on the mic first, Trish. How you doing tonight? I'm doing good. Is your mic on over there, honey? No. How about now? Hey. Speak it to a little bit more. 
Is it on? I no. can't hear you yet. Uh-uh. It's not? Go ahead. Go ahead, speak. Yeah. Yeah, it's on. All right. All right, you just saw a smoking ain't you? Yeah. Saw smoke. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where you from, honey? I'm from here, Chicago. From Chicago, what yeah. side? Speaking West side. West side, the best side. <laughs> oh, yeah. How long you been mommy? I've been mommy for about two or three and a half years. Two and a half years? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. What's something that you like about mommy? I love how it brings out the best in me. Like, it's just something that I've always wanted to have. Your confidence. We can talk like a little bit more, baby, so later. It brings out my confidence, and also I get to style, and I love it. Dope. Um, are there other things that you think Molly's gonna take you to that maybe you got into it, like acting, and maybe I don't know. Are you uh, do you rap? Do you sing? Anything like that? Yes, I do definitely hope it takes me to other places. I do want to start getting to acting a little bit. Acting. Yes. Go. And also... Follow though from the goal. He be doing all type of yeah. projects. You know oh, what I'm saying? For real? Yeah. All right. I'll you saw that. But, uh, okay, so you like acting? Yeah. You like tacos? Yes, I love tacos. You look like you like tacos. <laughs> uh, I want you to do me a favor. You're Molly two years, so that means you're a little seasoned. You've been around. You've been working. Tell some of these new girls. You know, I, I try to keep my show a little bit empowering, educational. You know, and bring a little bit of awareness. So if a girl ain't never modeled in her life, because it's a lot of these girls now, these young... 15, 16, 17, 18 year olds that they want to model. Yeah. You know, they take a little picture on Instagram, they, they get a little feedback. Now these girls really want to model. Yeah. Yeah. Give them a couple little tips, man, of the do's and the don'ts, maybe. You know, if you could, find me. Um, definitely, it's not easy. Little advice, you know what I'm saying, yeah. for a new girl. It's not easy, like, um, a pretty face isn't what's exactly going to get you into it. You definitely have to build a portfolio. You have to work with some people first. And then you can start getting looked for different things. Right. I didn't just pick them off the street. I actually went to her, uh, uh, Tris got some, both of them. Uh, uh, Keisha Lynn and Tris, uh, they both got an amazing profile. Um, I seen them doing some recent work, so they stay consistent and grinding. Yes. As you see, their hair is dead. Uh, and they both look flat, so they be on their stuff. So what else would you tell a girl just getting into this? Um, be confident and be yourself mainly as well. Be on time. Yes. <laughs> be on time. Don't be me. Be on time. <laughs> Dope. Um. Any uh, anybody you want to send like a special shout out to tonight? Um. My boyfriend. Boyfriend. What's his yes. name? Sean. Oh, you that's sweet it, man. That's, you that's, love that's, I love it, man. Loyalty is everything. Yeah, that, that, that's what it's about. That was a loyal move. You didn't have to do that. You did it. Yeah. Anybody else you want to send a shout out to? Um, and my big sister Jasmine. Jasmine. Yeah. Jazz. Anybody else? Nope. You don't got no modeling coaches or nothing like that? Um, I have a few. Um, Anybody your makeup? You gotta show her some love. Or I do my makeup. Really? Yes, I'm okay, my dope, own makeup dope. artist and hair. If somebody wants to book you, if somebody wants to go check out your profile, where can they go check you out at? My Instagram has all of my information. I have emails that I can be contacted with, or you can contact me through my social media. Could you please give me your Instagram or your booking email? Yes, my booking email is Tris Ray um, Booking at Gmail. And Dope. my Instagram is Bella I made one. You just turned down. But thank you very much for coming on. You're very welcome. Uh, Akisha Lynn, I ain't messed it up, did I? Oh, I'm on my stuff today. I usually butcher all the beautiful names like that. Where you from? Ain't you from Jamaica or something exclusive or something like that? I am. Mm -hmm. My family's there. Huh? Guagua. Where are they from? Guagua. Really? Jamaica, right? Yeah. Well, I was born here. I have Jamaican family on my dad's side, so. Yeah, me too. You're very beautiful. Thank you. Where you from? Huh? I mean, in the city of Chicago, where you well, from? Actually, I was born here in Chicago, and I moved to Madison, Wisconsin when I was 12. So, Wisconsin partially raised me, but I lived over east and out south mainly when I lived oh, here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you dangerous over there, stay to the lake. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, how long you been doing this? Um, when I moved, I've been living here since 2016. So, I started for about a few months in 2016, and I stopped, and then um. I just started back like um, a few days ago, honestly, and really? I actually had a shoot with Trish. 
New Orleans yeah, we, shoot, we shoot collab together booked. with Alondra. <laughs> like, who was that photographer who uh, um, shot his, that? Send him a shot at Because he who oh. got you booked, guys. <laughs> um, um, What's the Melvin photographer's Whitman, name? I believe. Yeah, Mel, Mel, uh, sorry, Melvin Whitman. I think that's his last name. Melvin yeah. Whitman. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so shout out to him. Thank yes. you for the opportunity. Uh, give some advice to some of the girls just getting into this, maybe, you know? Um, I always try I'll, to get that across. I mean, I know y'all got here because yeah. of hard work. Yeah. Uh, and well, you're doing something right. You know what I'm saying? So. Well, for me, I always felt like um, that I didn't have the look. Because if you, you go really? through most photographers, they're looking for the mixed girls. You got to be a certain length far as height and your size. weight and your size. So when I tried, I was discouraged for a long time because I felt like I just wasn't. I wasn't it. I wasn't mixed. I wasn't what they looking for. And then both of you guys got a distinctive look. You know yeah. that you don't really. So, so I don't. I don't. I'm not buying that one. I was okay. discouraged. Right. It's, 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 it's very true. true. It's very true. Really? Okay. So um, I actually got discouraged for a while. So I'll say that if you, you know, you never give up because it's someone out there that's actually looking for what you got. You know and. I would you, say, so you had ink already before you started modeling? Yeah, yeah. My my yeah. tattoos were for you know how we we got that paint that you could comment. Does my that tattoos, ever work bad against you? What my tattoos? Yeah. No. 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 Okay. Mm -mm. I know some companies maybe I don't know. I think it's. I've come across. It's a little that. bit more liberal nowadays. Well, all of mine are covered. So you, besides yeah. the one on my belly, you don't see the other ones. They're okay. on my legs. You know, I don't have any on my arms or anything like that. So. Um, have you done uh, New York Fashion Week or anything like that yet? No, I haven't done any. any. Tris? No, I hope so one day. I'm, okay. not, I'm, I'm actually going to be doing New York Fashion Week yeah. next year for Bad Language. So, Dope. Um, you know, yeah. check out shop portfolios. Y'all can check out my website, look at my models and stuff, and my clothing and stuff, and see. So, yeah, you know, we can network on that. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Yeah. But the opportunity always lies, nigga. Closed mouths don't get fed. Right, so, right, I right, had to be the aggressor. So, see, what if y'all didn't say nothing? Then that would have been an opportunity to miss for y'all. Mm -hmm. So, you have to know aggression is just say something. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? To a degree, you know, yeah, man, cl a closed mouth ain't gonna get fed. You know? So, not right now. So, um, okay, uh, let's move along. Um, you've been in this, what, okay, three three years now? You wanna say 216? Yeah, I'll say that, yeah. Okay, and you're back now, a little bit active now, getting mm -hmm. into it. Mm -hmm. A guy sees you, a, a female sees you, she wants you for a clothing company, mm -hmm. or a guy sees you, he wants you in this video. Mm -hmm. How do they get a hold of you? Um, you can reach me, well, by my email, which is akeishalyn at gmail.com. And then I also have uh, social media where you can find me on Facebook at Afanati Nefertiri. Um, Instagram at two underscores pretty as Jamaican. And then on Snap, well, no, just follow me on those two. Okay. Um, Snap wouldn't be a good, okay. good idea. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, here at Uncensored Pop Radio Worldwide, I, I, I already know. Do me a favor, baby. Send your mama a shout out. Number shout one. out to my mom. That's my number Send one Send mama a shout out. I like shout you. out, baby you know, girl. Mama Pop got number love for you, too. Yeah. So anybody else you want to shout out other than mama? Yeah, I'm going to shout out my big brother, Keith Fergo. He's Dope. also, um, he's a music artist, but he's he's chasing what a more... What music you be doing? Um, how do I explain this? He's not, I, I don't know how to explain his music. He's, he, his music is very raw, or, different. Or, it's, it's different. It gives you a vibe of, um, how, how can I say? That's your brother. You better it's explain my brother. his music. It's, 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 it's it's, it's, I don't know how to explain it. You, you now, would have you gotta, to listen to it. You gotta help me picture it, though. Okay, so is it rock and roll alternative. He could give you a little bit of both. He gives yeah. you, he gives you some, he gives you some Eric Badu vibes, and he also gives you that dope, that dope. Uh, that turn up music. Dope, you know that everyone dope, is listening dope. to as well. So the baby and how old all is of that. He? He's he, he's twenty seven. Okay. His okay. birthday was just the 29th. Shout God out to Libra Gang. God bless him. <laughs> yeah, but I also want to shout out um, to the universe. Because I believe in the laws of manifestation and I've literally I've sat here and I realized that everything that I've decided that I wanted and I started it started manifesting for me. 
you know, putting things in the universe and I've been receiving them back. So I'm going to shout out to the universe as well. Well, I want to thank y'all beautiful ladies, both of y'all, for coming through here, showing Pop Love on uh, Pop Radio Worldwide Love, uh, iHeart and Spotify now. Uh, and, and just giving us beautiful uh, energy in this universe going on right here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, dope. I want to yeah. say thank you very much, my thank brother. Thank you, my brother. I appreciate, I appreciate you. Blessings. I want to say thank you to the city of Chicago and everybody worldwide that has a platform like this and is sharing it with the right people, man. Yes, yeah, sir. Sending the right energy and education out there and ain't wasting their time doing goofy stuff, you know. Uh, Drink Champs and all the other guys, too, that have been doing this for a while, man. I appreciate you guys. Uh, and we over here in Chicago now, you yeah. know. Yeah, Come Chicago. over here with the Prince of Pain. Sit down. Let's get it. Pop. You know, follow me on www.princeofpain.com, my website. You going it's gonna take you everywhere to the Snap, Facebook, all the good stuff. Yeah. You know, it's been another week of pop radio, man. iHeartRadio. Uh stay connected, man. God bless everybody. It's your work Prince of Pain, man. Um, hello, my name is Key. My well, Akeisha Lynn, but I go by Key. Um, I came here today at iHeartRadio to talk about my experience with modeling. I also didn't get a chance to say don't get discouraged and also just be yourself and stay true to yourself as well um i had an amazing experience here um i want to shout out to everyone here for being respectful and you know not making the ladies feel uncomfortable so that's a big big up to you guys and yeah i definitely would recommend it i enjoyed myself so thank you for having me you can follow me on Instagram at two underscores pretty as Jamaican. And then you can follow me on Facebook at Afanati Nefertiri. Um, if you can't spell Afanati, you could just put in um, Nefertiri and I will pop up. But yeah, thank you.